everybody, thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Today I want to bring to you a video about how what type of brands sell for at least $100 on Poshmark. Now, um, I am a part-time reseller on eBay and on Poshmark, and all of the sales that I'm going to bring to you today are from Poshmark, but um, these brands and items could potentially sell for $100 on eBay as well, but um, I just thought it would be easier to kind of take it from one site um, and not different sites to kind of hone it down if you are a Poshmark reseller. Maybe you sell on eBay, um, maybe you sell on both platforms like I do, and I just thought that I just kind of wanted to hone it in onto one site um, just to give you an idea of what they're selling for on Poshmark. Many of you guys know that a lot of brands do sell more for more on Poshmark than they do on eBay, so I thought that I would kind of be more geared towards Poshmark and then eBay for this video because prim primarily Poshmark is uh, clothing, although they do now, now have a homes um, like a home goods section as well. But um, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nicole, and I um, have been reselling for probably about five years now, just as a part time. Um, I am a full time teacher and. Uh, eBay and Poshmark reselling is kind of my part-time gig. It's something I really enjoy doing. It's my hobby that makes me money, which is awesome. And uh, so today I just want to bring you a video that hopefully, hopefully will be helpful to you um, in your business as a reseller as well. So let's get right into the video. Okay. Okay, so I am going to flash on the screen the brand as well so that just kind of get keep it in your mind of the brands that I'm gonna go over some of these brands you may have heard of some of them may be new to you some of them are brands that are pretty prominent and dominant in the reselling community and some of them might be a little bit more um, mysterious new to you so I will try to put a picture up for each item so you can see what it was that I sold um, some of these items are items I've sold like um, not super recent but who which have sold it like in the last year and items that have sold for at least a hundred dollars or more there's a few on here that are over a hundred dollars and then there's a, a couple that are just a hundred dollars obviously on Poshmark after fees and everything that Poshmark takes out you're gonna have to deduct at least 20 percent so take that into consideration I do not have the prices that the items were originally, how much I paid for them, but just take that into consideration during this video. So the first item is Rebecca Taylor. Now I sold Rebecca Taylor really beautiful velour navy blue floral uh, dress. I can't remember if it was new with tags. I think it was new with tags um, or new without tags. And I'd actually gotten a liquidation lot and I sold it on Poshmark for $200, which was incredible. Um, it was a really beautiful dress. Um, obviously, not everything Rebecca Taylor is going to sell for $200. You have to remember that um, you have to get the right buyer that wants that item, that they really want that item, right? If it's over $100, that's a very small audience that you're um, appealing to because that's a lot of money to spend on one item. And also, you have to recognize that they might have put purchase that for a special event and someone that's purchasing an item for a special event is probably purchasing it um, because they want, are going to wear it maybe once or twice but it's a special event to them right and so they're looking for a specific item a specific idea they have in their mind what they want to wear you know, it's close to Christmas time and I'm looking for a black dress or a black skirt and a red top or sweater to wear for Christmas, at, for our Christmas program at church. And all the choir people are all going to be wearing black and red. And so I'm specifically looking for an item that I wouldn't necessarily want to spend a lot on, but I'm willing to pay more because I want it for Christmas. I want it for a special occasion. I can't just wait till whenever to purchase it because I have to get it in time for the special event. So this dress may have been purchased for a special event and people are more likely to spend more on something that's like a special a special thing for them and not necessarily an everyday shirt right um, unless they really love that brand so Rebecca Taylor um, and this was a dress and generally dresses do go for more okay the second brand is hot hippie or hot hippie I'm not exactly sure how to say it um, this was the item that I sold was uh, uh, like a jumpsuit it was a uh, 
It was a black jumpsuit, and I've seen other ones online for a good amount as well. And this particular jumpsuit was just, it was, it had sold for a really good price in the past. And so when I looked at comparisons and in the comps online, I recognized that this was actually a really sought after piece. And it did keep it for quite a while, but I ended up selling it for $190 on Poshmark, which is quite a bit. And it was like a tuxedo jumpsuit. So it had like the tuxedo style. It was sleeveless, but it was like a halter tuxedo. And that sold for $190. Obviously this was for, for something special. Um, because like a special occasion because um, it's not something you would wear every day okay the next item was actually a halter jumpsuit by Diane von Furstenberg or DVF also known as DVF this was a really interesting piece that I got like for six bucks or something like that and I sold it for 150 on Poshmark and um, it was just a really interesting like geometric print and it was a size 2 so it was actually really small but it ended up selling for a really great profit. So DBS, Diane, Diane von Furstenberg. I said that right. The next one was a brand that I'd never heard of before. I actually bought a liquidation lot, and this was one of the pieces. It was new with tags, and it was a really beautiful dress. It was white, and it was by the brand Maria Bianca Nero. I've never heard of that brand before, and I've never found it anywhere else. But I sold this really beautiful white with like black crisscrossing in the back straps for $145 on Poshmark. So that was pretty awesome. The next item is St. John. Many of you guys have heard of St. John. Please do not get it confused with St. John's Bay. That is something completely different. I think it's sold at like JCPenney or Shears or something. St. John is a very high-end designer and you can look up online, look at their site. Um, they are, have really expensive stuff. And the item that I found, I actually purchased it at Style Encore, which I do have some hauls on my channel about Style Encore. But it was a St. John evening, really beautiful, colorful blazer. It was like a Santana knit, which they're known for their Santana knits. And it was blue and had different sequining and like beading on it. It was really beautiful. I listed it for $170 on Poshmark. Someone sent me an offer and then someone just bought it. They, they didn't even, the person who sent me the offer, sent me an offer and then was like, oh no, I'm going to miss out. And they just bought it right off. So they ended up just buying it before I even had a chance to um, to counter back or anything like that. And it was only like 20 bucks off the ass. I would have accepted it. but So I sold it for full price at $170. And not everything St. John sells for this. I have a lot of other items in my closet that are just kind of stagnant. But because it was such a beautiful blue, it was like a really beautiful blue, someone was specifically probably following or had just been looking at the St. John pieces when they saw it. It was only listed for like two minutes and it sold super quick. Not all St. John's create equally, so please take that into consideration when you're trying to purchase it. Okay, the next item is actually a shoe brand, and this brand is called Teeks. Some of you have probably heard of this brand. Um, it's pretty well known. They have these really cute flats, um, and they're supposed to be really comfortable. I've never had my own pair before, but they have all different colors that you can get. And I actually ended up purchasing like two of these at the Goodwill. They didn't even know what they were because they weren't even marked up. And um, I ended up purchasing both of them. And um, the first pair, the first pair I listed, I listed on Poshmark for like $170. Someone pretty quickly sent me an offer for $100. In, 50 and I took it and there was this beautiful pair of like blush they were like a blush bronzy color and they sold I would say I think it was in the first day that I had them listed um, I can't remember exactly because I remember going back and forth someone was asking me questions about them but they sold really quickly for $150 so it's definitely a bolo brand okay the next brand is a brand that does not always do this well so you really have to look up comps um, I feel like this brand has gone down a little bit, but I think it's really dependent on the style, the item that you get. And this is Kate Spade. I sold this really cute, um, it was kind of like a, a sailor dress. It had, it was like blue, it had like blue stripes and it was like a white with blue stripes, like a kind of like an off-white cream ivory color with blue stripes and a tie waist. It had a, a slight flaw in it, but someone sent me a $100 offer and I accepted it. Um, it was really cute. Obviously it was I sold it around um, the summertime, like when it was warmer, so it was the, the season for it. So um, 
I thought it was really cute though and I was really glad to sell it. I had it for a little bit and then someone sent me a $100 offer and I accepted. So that was really awesome. So not all Kate Spade is created equally, but it's really important to look up comps or comparables when you are trying to price your items just to make sure you're not losing out on money that you could easily get. So. Okay, the last brand is actually more of a male brand. I don't even think that they sell women's stuff, but and that is Robert Graham. I've only ever found one Robert Graham shirt, and it sold for $100 on Poshmark. And it was actually a limited edition. So if you ever do find Robert Graham, look it up and make sure it's not like a limited edition, like a special um, collaboration with somebody, because if it is, it's probably going to be worth more online. And I had it listed for a little while and someone finally they sent me a hundred dollar offer I think I had it listed for like 125 I never had any Robert Graham before so I had no idea what to list it for and it ended up selling for a hundred dollars so that was awesome so that is my list of brands that sell for over a hundred dollars please remember that not everything in that brand is gonna sell for a hundred dollars it really depends on your audience on Poshmark we all have different people who follow us our audience might not be completely the same so that's gonna make um, a difference also the season can make a difference some people want to wear it now so they might not want to spend as much on it because they know they can't wear it until the future and also if people are looking for things for special events that are willing to pay a little bit more. So items that you have you have in your closet or in your eBay store that are more, um, maybe more geared towards like the holiday season or even like prom, items that are more for special occasions might go for more just because um, people are willing to spend a little bit more on items for special occasions for some reason. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this. And check out some of my other videos that have lots of hauls and also what sold videos to give you ideas on the types of items and brands that are currently selling online. Thanks so much for watching.